I am both a keen giver and receiver of spanking. <laughs> and because of that, I learned over the years that spanking can be very pleasurable and, and beautiful and even orgasmic when done right. But it can be also quite unpleasant, irritating or even painful when done the wrong way. <laughs> and my butt is a highly erogenous zone, so I love different kinds of touch and I've received over the years many different kinds of touch. The, you know, the, the soft, the hard, the zen, the, the tantric, the, the fun, the, the pleasurable and everything in between. And this is why today I want to share with you my essential guide to spanking. My name is Helena Nista and I am a sex therapist and a tantra practitioner. I make videos about great sex, legendary pleasure, about Tantra and passionate relationships. And today let's get talking about the beautiful art of spanking. What goes without saying is that you need to receive consent from your partner to perform the spanking together. So if they don't want to do it, don't go there. But if they are willing to give it a try, uh, here are my five top five tips. <laughs> for a beautiful spanking session. Location is quite important and obviously you can spank your partner of, on different body parts but when it comes to the to the bum it is uh, there are some rules. So if this is the bum the lower half the more kind of fleshy part is your perfect area to slap and to spank. If you hit her on the top part, that can be quite unpleasant and uh, not so not so not, not so nice for her. Also, the area near the hip, so on the on the side of her bum, can be quite unpleasant to hit as well. So just generally stay within that bottom half, that fleshy part, and also check with your partner about their preference. Until you learn your partner's tolerance for spanking, it's good to use a communication system where they rate the intensity of your spanking on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being a very soft spank that they can barely feel, and with 10 being intense pain. So ask your partner what intensity they're willing to go to, and let's say if they say up to 7, then you're going to stay within that range. Also ask them to rate your spanking or your slaps as you go so that you can learn what intensity uh, that which each spank means for her and how she is experiencing it or he if you're spanking your male partner. Obviously they don't have to rate every single spank particularly the ones where you are increasing the intensity, which will allow you to learn where their limits are and where is most pleasure for them. In case of spanking, do not start with the bang. If you start too intensely, too aggressively, too quickly, uh, you'll most likely get, you know, just cause pain to your partner and just get like an irritated ouch from them instead of, instead of an ecstatic moan. And this is a mistake that many people make and you know, in my experience I have been many times turned off during a spanking session because my partner started just too strongly with a big slap too quickly and my body wasn't prepared for it so that just wasn't a very nice experience. So when you start it's very important to start actually with like really soft little slaps just to warm up the area, just to prepare the area. So as you're slapping your partner, make sure to, after each few slaps, sort of massage out the area. And when you're massaging, you can also allow your hand to move up their back and down their legs, because this way you're also uh, activating and opening more energy channels in their body. When I get spangasms, what I feel is this ecstatic orgasmic energy shooting up through my entire body, so that's why it's important to to activate and open up the rest of their body as well. Constantly going at the same intensity and speed is quickly going to become boring, so you'll need to change it up a bit. So work up from those kind of gentle slaps to more intense ones, but you know, do it over time. And what you can also do is, you know, do sort of those, those quick ones in succession and then make your partner wait. 
and then maybe when they're ready just apply one sort of more powerful well-timed slap and just keep playing with it it's sort of like your partner's butt is an instrument and you're an artist applying your spanking in a varied and exciting way and finally make sure to enjoy yourself if you're not having fun during the spanking it's not likely that your partner will so make sure that this is something that you're going to also enjoy or create the space and the experience in a way that will be also enjoyable for you it's also a good idea to discuss the experience afterwards, to have a chat with each other about what you both enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, how you can make it better in the future if you want to do it again in the future. There's a, a lot of fun that you can both have in the bedroom, but it's very important to remember that everybody's different and that our bodies are different and that we can only learn about each other's preferences by experimenting and communicating very honestly about the experience so that's it from me for today do enjoy your spanking session drop me a, a comment below telling me how you went and what you liked about it and i look forward to seeing you next week <laughs>